Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday and start to a brand new week. And starting off the week this week, what I want to enter into is a conversation about the current promo, the Fantasy Foot Cards. Do we have an opportunity to invest in these cards as they go out of packs and as we watch them kind of get packed and maybe rise in price throughout the rest of this week? I think there is potential for that because these are live cards. There's a lot riding on these cards for the upgrades and the hype around those. I want to talk about investing in those and the hero versions in today's video a little bit. Now, speaking of those heroes, yesterday ESEA hit us with a little bit of a surprise with the 87 plus, keeping the hero theme going. They hit us with another hero player pick. We've seen this one before, but it's one of five. Five options for this is massive, and it's got a lot of people very excited. The market is moving a lot because of this and the Umtiti SBC yesterday as well. Both, I guess, decent enough to make people want to go sell some cards and buy some fodder as we see fodder in multiple areas moving. We'll talk about that. And speaking of today on Monday, what's the content going to be? Is it just going to be upgrade packs to help us craft SBCs and maybe pack some man of the matches, team of the weeks, fantasy heroes, and fantasy cards? We'll talk about that and what else to expect with the market today because will we see a market rise on a Monday where Weekend League is still going on? We'll talk about that in today's video as well. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go back to yesterday and talk about what happened with this hero player pick to start things off in the video today. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this. It's not that expensive of a gamble. It's a little too expensive for my liking, but EA knew exactly what they're doing with this because they've dropped this pack before, but they've never given us, or this player pick before, but they've never given us five options, right? And this is massive because five options gives you a lot of potential for the what if, right? When you play that through your mind, this is a gamble where EA is saying, yes, these cards are a little bit behind the curve and base uh, icons or base heroes, sorry. Like those are old, man. We've had those since the start of the game. Like the fact that you can pack base uh, like, I don't even know, like so many base hero cards out of this is just not great. And that's what I don't like about it. But people are doing it because you have five options and five options gives you the opportunity to pack somebody really good. So 290,000 coins, 72% upvote. A lot of DGENs on this FIFA game right now, right? I, I get it. I get it. I'm very interested in doing this because if there's no other big SBCs that drop throughout the rest of this week, this is one that you could do upgrade packs, craft it up, and have a fun opportunity to try to pack one of those big boy World Cup hero players, right? It's not about, I mean, maybe Ginola, you know, a couple of those guys like Di Natale or Marquisio. And I've seen some pretty good ones uh, in the past couple of uh, hours, but I've also seen some pretty bad ones. So it's a gamble. If you don't have a lot of coins, be careful. This is one that I would probably say most people aren't packing cards inside of it that are going straight into their starting 11. A few will, but not that many will. So that's why I would be careful with this one. But it is fun. And of course, you can tell with this upvote percentage and the way the market's moving, people are doing this SBC. Now, with the requirements, you've got two inform requirements, which has made some informs go up, but you've got a lot of 85 rated requirements in here. Like the 84 rated squad requires 385s. The 85 squad alone, of course, is going to require 85s. And then the 87 or the 86 squad requires an 87, which means you're probably going to fill out the rest of that 86 squad with some more 85s than you normally would because you have that higher rated player in there. And that has made 85s with all that demand shoot up in price from about 10 to 11K. They're up to about 15, 14 and a half, 15,000 coins. Very nice price rise on these cards. 86s are up a little bit. 84s are up around 1,000 coins a card now too, right? From just under 4K to almost 5,000 coins. Even 83s are up a little bit because of this too. So the low rated fodder is what moved yesterday with the demand. High rated fodder, just kind of chilling and actually going down. 91s are at 60,000 coins. For right now, I would not invest in these. I think I would wait until later on in the week. I feel like there's a very small opportunity, and I mean very, very small, uh, that EA would drop another sort of big SBC. It would have to take like another icon pack uh, later on this week for EA to make those high rated fodders go back up. So unless we have a leak, a new pack added to the code or something about an icon pack coming or it dropping into the game, I would stay away from that high tier stuff because the focus right now looks like it's on the lower tier with this SBC requiring all 86 rateds um, and below and then some inform. So that definitely made the market move yesterday. Now, what cards dropped and a lot of the market did drop yesterday because people sold cards 
to go and do this SBC. We talked about that in yesterday's video, right? When there's good gamble packs or just good SBCs that people want to go and do, they sell cards to go and get it done. And this is one that's actually rebounding back up a little bit right now that was down a lot yesterday. And Katia was 180,000 coins. He went all the way down to 160. Uh, Kavicha was one, even on a bit of a higher range. He was like 570,000 coins. He's down to 520 right now. A lot of your middle tier market, like three, 400,000 coins cards or less, these are the cards that dropped yesterday as people maybe went out and sold a card like this to go and get the hero player pick SBC done. Now, some Manchester United cards like this Casemiro are maybe down a little bit extra uh, because of the unfortunate 7-0 um, loss yesterday. As a lot of people, or myself included, were hoping for that Veghorst upgrade. Some of these cards are down a lot. 385 right now from Malasia. That's pretty low. He was like 460 yesterday. So some of those cards could bounce back, and we'll talk more about the market today but the, the bottom line is a lot of people sold some cards yesterday to get that hero player pick done and some of those cards might be bouncing back because i feel like content's not going to be that insane as we head into today on monday and even tomorrow on tuesday we'll talk more about that in the video but we also had um titi sbc yesterday which a lot of your french center backs in the game like kalulu other uh syria center backs like kim and jay dropped off in price guys i'm going to be completely honest I'm not a huge fan of this SBC. I don't think he's going to get very many upgrades. I don't think the card is that great. Now, the good thing is you've got 11 days to decide. Same thing with Depay, right? I would rather work towards Depay and try to chip away at this than doing the Umtiti SBC because I feel like Depay has a lot better chance of upgrades. He's going to look like a more usable card. You'll be able to use him for longer than this Umtiti card who's already got so many other French center backs. Even Kalulu, right? Just go buy Kalulu for 87K. Yeah, it's not as cool. It doesn't upgrade, but... I think you get a better card for the here and now, and you don't have to wait for those upgrades like you will for an MTD card. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but a lot of people are at 110K. You're seeing him uh, affect other center backs on this game. Also, we had the mini release yesterday, which was pretty uneventful besides a Fabian PSG card, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. We've had so many PSG midfielders in the past couple of weeks. Uh, Fabian right now is about 360, 370K on the market. Medium, medium work rates, decent card. Upgrades for PSG, so a pretty big club represent, uh, being represented here. Represented represented what english tfa uh fabian representing psg so uh just again think about all the psg midfielders vitinha Verratti. we've had the carlos soler from the showdown series and now we have this fabian a lot of psg midfielders and i think that's going to hurt his price a little bit but that is a live psg card right there so that was all the content yesterday and how the market reacted accordingly we'll talk about the market a bit more but let's speak about these foot fantasy cards and specifically investing in them because this is a question that a lot of people have been asking me about i know a lot of you guys want to know and it's something that i'm interested in too because last year we made millions off of the foot fantasy promo but this year it's just in a different time and the upgrades are not coming anytime soon and there's something going on with these upgrades that i want to talk with you guys about because it even makes me like these cards a little bit less but first let's talk about the pros why would these cards rise up out of packs there are some nice cards in here and of course they are live and they have the potential to get a plus four right with all the upgrades taken into account all the ways they can upgrade it's a plus four potential for all of these cards and the thing that i like about it too is it's not just solely relying on a player's performance or a team's performance, it's a mixture of both. So if the player's not playing too great right at the beginning of the upgrade, period you know the team can still be doing good and then he can turn it on right and boom then you've got multiple upgrades on a card as the player and the club both perform right that's the hope for a lot of these cards um so those are some positives right but some of the negatives are the timeline right we still have to wait such a long time march 17th for when these guys are even like able to get upgrades that's still over a week and a half basically it's 12 11 days from now uh, is when we have the first games where these guys will potentially get their upgrades and the worst part about it is let's take a look at Saliba for example right 1.2 million coins for the Saliba card right now yes if Arsenal can satisfy all the upgrade criteria he's going to be 93 rated and he's going to be absolutely insane now the way they're going to upgrade these cards in game it shows as plus one this is not like they did with and are doing with the road to the finals remember the road to the finals like felipe anderson um raspadori got plus twos because it was a plus one inform upgrade 
This looks to be like it's a plus one strictly. None of the cards that are lower rated are going to get a double boost because they're lower rated. It's a straight up plus one, and it might just be a plus one around every single stat on the card. So that's a little bit, I guess, not as fun or as high for some of these upgrades. So that's one of the negatives I don't like. But then speaking of Arsenal's games again, look at the schedules that you have. And it's not just you look at a road to the final card and you're like, okay, yeah, these guys have potential upgrade because their, their team could progress in the tournament, right? With these road to the final cards, it's pretty easy. Okay, you focus on the team and the wins and who they're playing and their matchups and stuff like that. But for these foot fantasy cards, you've got individual performance that is put in there as well. And when these games are being played, look at Arsenal's schedule. On the 17th, right? That's the magic day. How many games do they have around the 17th? Well, March 19th. Okay. That's after the upgrade kind of window opens. They got one game against Crystal Palace, but then look at their next game, April 1st. We have an international break period that is coming up after this next weekend, which is when the first set of games will be played for these foot fantasy upgrades, which basically from the, the 19th, the sixth, the 17th, 17th of March, all the way until the end of March, there are going to be only that first weekend of games that could count for upgrades, and then the leagues stop as they go on international break. That is a big downside for a lot of these cards, especially as you think about foot birthday is going to be coming out, more cards are going to be dropping into the game, road to the final upgrades are going to be pushed live, a lot of other things are going to be going up, the power curve, new cards, uh, road to the finals are going to be getting upgraded even as soon as this Friday, and these cards are just going to be sitting stagnant, out of packs, waiting for the potential to upgrade. So that makes me like these cards a lot less than I did, especially, and I'm going to mention it a lot of times with foot birthday impending. Foot birthday is such a big promo, and I think there's going to be panic selling for it. That is a staple promo that people on FIFA look forward to every year. So personally, I think there are some cards from this team that will rise. Like Isak is very interesting to me. He could, you know, get some goals. Newcastle haven't been in the greatest form, but I mean, still, week and a half away from these guys playing again. Who knows what could change, right? I think Skriniar is one that a lot of people are investing in, but I like that investment. Trimmel, I think, for Union Berlin and where they're at right now in the Bundesliga is good. Sanchez, Alexis Sanchez, Marseille, they've been playing incredibly well, and I think he himself is playing incredibly well. Potential upgrades there are looking very good. Saliba, of course, but he's very expensive. Llorente, very expensive. So I just don't love investing in this team. Personally, I'm going to keep my coins liquid because trading on the rest of the market on this game with out-of-pack special cards with road to the finals has been so great especially since just getting back on the game this weekend for me i'm going to stick to doing those sort of trades and flips and not trying to put my coins into a gamble uh with these fantasy cards that's just how i'm feeling with them now with the heroes it's a little bit of a different story because the hero cards i don't know if we're getting a team too i mean you look at the hero cards that we have we just have a small list of just a few players but like, are EA going to give more cards out as a part of team two? I don't know uh, if they're going to do that or if they're just going to stop with this team one. If they're just going to stop with this team one, then I like investing in these hero cards because heroes and special versions and upgraded versions of heroes, you think about the World Cup cards, they have done really, really well out of packs. And if you also think about icons, right? World Cup icons and team of the year icons, think about team of the year icons. They all exploded after team of the year. Limited time upgrades to these types of cards, whether it's heroes or icons do very very well out of packs i went back and looked through a lot of the world cup heroes and they rose the week after they were out of packs literally all of them so i think there's a lot more potential with these cards here than there is with the actual regular fantasy cards just because these are heroes right so ledley king was 430k earlier yesterday on sunday he's now 480,000 coins cordoba is constantly fluctuating between like 1.25 and 1.35 right now he is 1.33 so he's up a little bit right harry cool i bought yesterday at 900 sold them all for like 960 sold one at 930 to get out of it but 960 to 980 is where i sold a lot of these at right now i think he's like 950 or something like that he's been in the low 900s so i think these cards will be something to watch throughout the rest of this week but i would just be very careful investing in too many of them or investing in too many of the regular uh, foot fantasy cards because we also don't have a ton of the big teams that have been um represented there's that word again right represented uh by fantasy foot cards right we're missing manchester united we are missing um manchester city we're missing a lot of top clubs from like real madrid we are missing barcelona we're missing bayern munich we're missing uh a lot of the major clubs 
from these different leagues. Uh, hopefully, Team 2 brings us some better cards. And if Team 2 does bring us a lot of better fantasy foot cards, that could also make the investment in Team 1 a little bit less desirable. So I'm going to steer clear of these cards just because I think it takes so long for them to get upgraded. We've got so much to happen between now and then. And um, I just don't love the players that are getting released in this promo. So hopefully, we see a better Team 2. And we'll still trade with them, right? Like the heroes, like I talked about. I'm looking at this Cordoba. I'm looking at all of these cards. Isak, I would love to try out. I think these cards could have some price movements. I just don't know if there's going to be enough for me to want to go all in on them like the road to the final. So a lot of words to get that point across right there. But I would look to buy if you do want to watch these cards. The heroes, you got to watch them pretty soon because if this rest of the week is a slow content week, the low point for these cards might be even today, sometimes we've seen it. Mondays have been the low point for some promo cards in packs just because the rest of the week's content is not that good. But we do have a team two upcoming with these cards. And of course, we do have probably some more leaks as well starting to come up later on this week. So I would believe that I would wait to buy these, in my opinion. Uh, EA might have another party bag or sort of SBC like that up their sleeve as well. So maybe just put the pause button on investing in these right now, especially with Road to the Finals bringing in the hype uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week and then look towards like Thursday or maybe even the weekend if Team 2 looks really good for an investing time on these cards. Now, let's rein it back in. Let's talk about Monday content today because stock the club with the gold rares, stock the club with the gold non rares. They're basically all discard right now as they should be because there's really not any upgrade packs out at the moment. You can get these on bid for 350, 400 for the non rares. The rares that you can get at uh, 650, 700 as well. Pretty cheap, right? Stock that club because, again, like I said, you know, with an SBC like this 87 plus, with player SBCs that are out, maybe you're working on Player of the Month Ben Yetter, maybe you're working on Depay. I think it will be a good opportunity, maybe Al Jaber as well. Today's upgrade packs give a great opportunity to try to open upgrade packs to just pack a lot of different cards like we talked about, right? These hero cards, since they have a pack percentage, remember like the World Cup icons, um, remember the Team of the Year icons, right? I packed Team of the Year icon Pirlo out of an upgrade pack uh, because these cards, since they have a pack percentage here in the store and since they are technically promo cards, even though they are heroes, they will be packable from whatever player picks or whatever upgrade pack we have today on Monday. So I don't know if it's going to be like an 80 plus player pick, 81 plus double, 81 times three, right? We have all of those in the code. It could be any sort of different upgrade packs or player picks today that we get. But I would assume that an unlimited repeatable one's going to come out today. So stock the club, stock uh, with the non-rares and the rares. You've got man of the matches. You have team of the week with, the, with Messi in it. You've got the heroes and the regular foot fantasy cards. So a really good week this week to be opening up upgrade packs. I don't know what else we're going to get though today. Maybe some other sort of like gamble pack, just a small one. Maybe, you know, like an 82 times 10 or 83 times 10 would be kind of cool. Maybe it's going to be a smaller one, like an 83 double, something along those lines. I could see dropping today as well. There's no other leaks for another player SBC, right? We've had Umtiti, Depay, and Aljaber. So I don't know if we're going to get another player SBC today, but watch out for uh, some other sort of upgrade packs dropping today on the game, as we often see on Mondays. Now, also, let's talk market, right? Because yesterday we saw some prices drop and you're like, Nate, you've obviously invested some coins. I have, right? I feel pretty confident in how I feel the market is going to react to kind of the next day or so on this game. It's been a common trend where Mondays we see a rise on prices on the market. And that's been common just because people get their weekend league rewards, they go out, they buy cards, they put together teams and they go start playing their uh, division rivals games to get rewards, they play their champs qualifier games. Now today it's different, right? Because we have that weekend league extension, but we've had this happen before in the past and the market on weekend league extension weeks where we still have weekend league going on on Monday, the market's still gone up on Mondays. I think people still are used to getting their games done in kind of the same time frame. So they just still go out and get their games done uh, within the normal time they get their games. And then, of course, since you can get your rewards at any time, you can finish off your games and then get those rewards instantly. So even though the schedule is different this week, I am pretty confident that we'll see a bit of a rise on the market today, which is why you've seen me pretty invested. I feel like the market could rise today if all we get is a couple of upgrade packs and nothing too crazy. I feel like it's going to be a pretty good day for the market and prices will rise. Even if they don't rise too much in the morning, I feel like they're going to continue to rise um, later on after content today, unless something crazy happens. So I feel pretty good about the market today. I think it'll be a great opportunity to be making coins to be trading. And if I see Milosevic hit a 370, 
I will buy another one or I will buy some more because that's really, really low. That's literally down like 80K from where he was. I know he's very overpriced, but it's Malasia, it's Manchester United Lynx, and people still have Weghorst, even though he's not getting upgraded. That's still a card that a lot of people want to use. So I see a lot of opportunity on the market. Some hero cards we were watching yesterday. Of course, this Cordoba is out of packs. I bought a couple of him at like 239 and 240. He's 246 right now. He's out of packs because his foot fantasy version is in packs. Um, and he was panic sold yesterday with the center back. Um, um, titty dropped and with the hero player pick being dropped and then i also was very interested in al O'Wearin. i didn't buy one but he was like 815k some of the world cup heroes and regular heroes that you saw drop in price yesterday like di natale marquisio some of these guys i think will bounce back up very nicely i think di natale was like 220 He's back up to like 238, 240. So a nice bounce back already starting to happen on the market. I think that's going to continue today on a lot of cards. Not everywhere, but on a lot of cards today, I would expect the market to continue to do pretty well. Look at the team of the week as well. The current team of the week that we have in this game is not like a crazy one. I know we have Messi in here, right? Messi 697 probably going to rise up a little bit, but some of these guys are decently priced for fodder in forums, especially if you have more demand later on in the week. Um, and then you got a guy like Phil Foden, right? Manchester City, the cheapest Phil Foden special car with a dynamic image that we have. All of his other cards are over 100K and 300K for his big boy card from the World Cup. So this card at like 20K, 23K, I bought a couple of them, put on my transfer list. I feel like that's a no-brainer, easy investment. Uh, Zambo Anguisa, good links there. Uh, you've got a man of the match, Chucky Lozano, that's out right now with the links. So, you know, I feel like this team of the week could be a slight investment opportunity as well, just because I don't feel like a ton of people are opening tradable packs and, and doing the lightning rounds uh, at the moment on this game. Now, also with the market, we have to watch with Road to the Finals because I expect these cards to also continue rising up as they have, right? Um, Atal is now 290. He's probably going to be close to 300K very soon. Phillips, 660. He's rising, right? Raspidori is still a little bit low. I think that's from the pack yesterday. Fofana is down a little bit because of uh, Umtiti in the pack yesterday. Nuno Menge is rising. Malin is rising. And a lot of these Road to the Finals are just doing more of that because we get closer and closer to these games and more upgrades and uh, a lot of exciting times to be had probably this next week. Again, we're going to talk about it more throughout this week, but look to sell in the hype. That is always a safe play. That is always the smart play. And if you really want to gamble on it, uh, I would just wait to gamble until you actually see goals scored in the game. Like I'm going to be closely watching Lucas Mora because I hope my Tottenham Hotspur can get a dub, right? And of course, advance to the next round. But I'm not going to buy this most likely unless I see a massive undercut um, until a goal is actually scored in that game upcoming on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday for whatever player or whatever team you were watching out for. So that's kind of where the market is right now. Road to the finals and a lot of stuff uh, staying the same price or rising. A lot of the rest of the market down a little bit, but potentially rising up a bit more today into tomorrow unless EA have some other crazy ideas uh, with the content, right? So again, just a little update. Here's the cool cards that I bought yesterday. I got one out just to sell it. Um, and the other three I made pretty good profit on. I bought some Dybala's last night too at about 42 to 45K. Sold a lot of those for 50K, 51K. And then, yeah, this is the rest of the transfers right now at the moment. Just some random specials. I got some Crouch at like 266. I tried him out yesterday and it's to start my weekly qualifiers. Fun card with the five-star skills. Definitely got to use him on an architect for the lengthy. Fun card, but that's about it. Very, very... Kind of jammy, but pretty clunky. So I'm excited to try out some more cards this week. And hopefully, maybe EA have a little bit of an Easter egg surprise for us somewhere as a part of content today and some good upgrade packs. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Food Account, and I'll see you guys on the stream today. Peace out.